What's up guys, today I'm looking really quick at the Beta FPV Light Radio 3 Pro. This is the Pro version of their Light Radio series. Now, I've always recommended these radios for people who are just starting out in the hobby. They're very cheap and they're functional, but they always had some issues like the gimbals were very crappy and you had to use their, their configurator to configure this, which is very different to everything else. It was okay, it worked, but now we have the Pro version of this. And I always imagined a radio like this. Now, you have so many options nowadays for Express LRS radios. Uh, you know you why would you choose this i actually like the way it looked i actually like the idea of this screen i love these oled screens i love these I, I, it, it's just much better looking than these typical lcd screens i think it looks a lot more i don't know futuristic more pro with that screen it's got that true black and then the, you know the white writing i don't know it's 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 really cool to see that but i also thought that you know it, it looked quite nice it's compact it's got an internal 1s battery and I thought, okay, let me check this out. But I'm going to tell you first the things that I don't like about this radio. How about that? Number one, right off the bat, is this arming switch. So you can use any switch to arm, but this is usually what you use for your arming switch or maybe over here, depending if you're left-handed or right-handed. Um, I don't like the fact that they've designed this to be flat. Look at that. That switch is on. So it's a latching switch. It's not like the T-Pro where you have to like set up this, this button. It actually latches, which I thought and everybody thought it's going to be much nicer, but... I much prefer this guys, this is so intuitive to just press, disarm, an arm, and when I'm landing with this radio, of course everything is muscle memory, I will get used to it over time, but right now when I'm landing, I'm fumbling to find back the switch, because there's no dip in there, there's, there's no bump, at least here they have two ridges, you can feel the switch, this is just smooth, and I really hope that they will fix that, that's a big thing for me, if it had a little dip and I could feel it while I'm flying, I will know where the button is, but for the time being, when I'm landing, I'm fumbling for this button and I, I always end up pressing this or doing some stupid thing and eventually I get it and by then I've chewed up my props. So that's the one thing I don't like. Second thing I felt that I really don't like is the throttle was really stiff. I don't know why they did this but the throttle is super stiff and you just have to go in there, pull all these screws as I'm showing you here and right here we have this little bar that actually touches the back of the gimbal that gives it the tension you'd have to go and pull this screw here and you just have to pull it until you can feel the stick lighten up so it should be just barely touching the stick you should be able to move this throttle with just the most minimum amount of effort because if you're a thumber like me you are going to be really really adjusting that throttle fine tuning it as you're flying to get that smooth flight um the gimbals are adjustable you can adjust the amount of tension on it which i think is a great touch i don't know if you can do that with the t with the t pro but for this one you can and i actually have it adjusted just the way i like it you can also adjust the sticks up and down so by default they feel a little bit like they don't have that much throw compared to like this <laughs> but you can you know adjust it out and of course when you have longer sticks it, it gives you more re resolution it actually feels better but it, that's a personal thing you have to do it and feel whatever feels comfortable so i think you have a lot of you know options for customizing this radio which is kind of cool and let me see what else i don't like about it other than that and these switches kind of feel like they're not very pro these are not pro switches they don't give you that positive click at least in my version. I don't know if they're gonna fix this. I hope they do, but it just doesn't feel like it gives you that positive feel. That's it with the negatives, guys. Everything else was kind of like a very good experience. Now, coming from the Jumper T Pro that I showed in the last video, this was a real pain to, to, to set up. For me, it's easy. I know what I'm doing with Express LRS, and I've you know set up many Raiders before, and you do that one time, and it works. I actually still love the fact that this button, even though it doesn't latch, it's very intuitive. But whatever, this one was, everything was set up for you guys. It comes with a, a model setup, the internal RF. It's already set up for you. And any other radio that I had to do, even, even the jumper T light here, I had to create my own um, uh, model and I had to assign the switches. And that takes a lot of work. This had everything set up for you. It was just amazing to me to just pick up this radio and have everything set. The switches are set. And all you have to do is just bind it. So... It's very easy to bind. Um, just like with all my other radios, I recommend that you use Wi-Fi to uh, update the Express LRS module in here. And I highly recommend that you use the passphrase. So that way, when you get a new drone, you can easily just you know uh, add your passphrase to your, your new receiver and there's no binding. You just turn it on and you're bound and everything is good. That's the way forward, guys. That's the way I would recommend. 
you can do Wi-Fi update two ways. So first, let me show you this here. You can, oh, another thing I'd like to show that I really love. The menu in here is super intuitive. So, you know, if you've used any of these radios, <laughs> you know that the menu is kind of, a, you know, it, it takes a lot to get used to. Even though this one has a scroll wheel. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but it scrolls like side to side and you're actually scrolling up and down and you select and then to go back and forward, it's a hold down and then a short press. It's too much. This one is straightforward. You want to go into your settings, you hold it to the left. There it is. You want to go to the, the right, you go to the right. You want to go to the left, you want to go down. It's just all here. And then this is the back button. And this also works as a trim for the two sticks, which is another thing I like because you have a switch back here that you can set to your left gimbal to set the trim or you can do it to the right gimbal to set the trim or and then you can leave it in the middle so it doesn't touch anything how many times have you been flying and your finger touches the trim switch and you don't even know and then you're flying and your quad keeps slowly turning to one side that has happened too many times the fact that you can turn this off is a winner and yeah i love that feature um okay what i wanted to show you was here they actually give you the two versions of the Express LRS Lua script. You have the old one, so you, you're going to see two things. ELRS is the old one, and the one that says Express LRS, that's for the version 2. Point whatever what um, that, that's out now. So if you're running a Whoop or anything that has like the older firmware, um, you don't want to go to the new one, you press that. But the newer one is here, and then here we go, and the, the whole Lua script runs there. So you go to Wi-Fi connectivity, that's that, enable Wi-Fi enter there you go this happened to me guys it's telling me that my current target is radio master zoro that's what it's telling me that this is and that's not the case so i feel like that's what they put on there because it was a um non-official firmware so i'm just gonna hit flash anyway and hope for the best so another thing i want to mention is that the version i got this might not be the case for you as of right now because there wasn't a target for this in in the express lrs configurator but there is now so what they did, they, they had, uh, I guess, firmware from the, the Zorro, Radio Master Zorro, that was probably, you know, they share hardware, so they probably use that for the time being because it worked for this radio. And it, it, it gave me an error saying that it was incompatible or you're you're updating something that's, that's not, you know, a different version. Um, and I just had to say yes anyway, and it worked. So that's what you'll probably have to do if you get one of these. So that's it, guys. Once you do that everything is set and you're good to go everything there's no fiddling with the menus anymore it was just very straightforward and i actually kind of like this radio i don't know like i said i'm i'm going to be going on a road trip so i'm going to be taking these two radios and i'll be using them one or the other and i will let you know you know if i do end up using this more what the difference is and this is only 250 milliwatts and you know like the zorro also if you think 250 milliwatts sounds like it's not a lot it's a lot for Express LRS, and I keep saying this, like, a th one watt is kind of overkill. Yes, of course, if you're going to do some long range and you want to make sure you can get by in a, in a noisy RF environment or with things blocking you, it's it's the safety of having one watt is, is unbeatable. But 250 milliwatts is a lot of power. I had that with my Jumper T light with this module in the back, and it never let me down. I've been way out there. So, yeah, that's what I have to say about this. Anyway, guys, that's it for now. This should have been a short video, but it's kind of long now. <laughs> so, yeah, this this radio, I haven't seen much people talk about it because when it came out, there wasn't even a target. So people kind of just flew over it. Yeah, we have the iFlight Commando 8 and all these radios out now. This is just another choice that we have, and I'm sure there's more to come. Express LRS is amazing, guys. That's like the future. And if you buy this, like as a beginner, you can use this for a long time. That's a good thing. Hall sensor gimbals will last a long time. And it's 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 a good look it really is anyway guys that's it for now thanks for watching and happy flying